Yo, what's good everyone? OJ here and welcome to another video. Today, we've got some awesome information for you guys, so let's go ahead and get right into it. And we are starting off with Shakedown Hawaii. We've got some more details on the release for this game, so this will officially launch for the PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch, PS Vita, 3DS, and PC via Steam in Q1 2019. Developer V Blank Entertainment has announced a newly released gameplay trailer, which you guys are checking out. Shows off the world, story, empire building, characters, and customization as well. So we'll go over some of the new details here. There's a ton of stuff to go over though. So if you want to see the full post from V Blank, make sure you check out the link in the description below. But let's start off with meeting the CEO. So Shakedown Hawaii follows a aging CEO struggling to make sense of the modern world. Online shopping killed his retail stores, ride sharing his taxi business, and streaming his video stores. His company's stuck in the past and so is he. To save the company, he'll need to learn the methods of modern business and use them to rebuild his empire. So there's a whole bunch of empire building and all sorts of stuff that you can do there. But let's get into the 16-bit open world because that's exciting, right? So Shakedown Hawaii features a 16-bit destructible open world spanning from the city to the suburbs, the beach to the water, two farms, parks, and the jungle. Just about everything, aside from the buildings themselves, can be destroyed and will stay destroyed until you respawn. So you can explore, there's over 200 enterable buildings as well. But let's talk about the game modes because the game modes are important too. So Shakedown Hawaii includes a full story mode, including side quests, arcade challenges, or fast paced pick up and play action, and free roam mode for when you just want to dive into the world and play. It also includes over 80 stores to shake down for protection money, essentially micro missions, found across the entire city. They can be completed in any order that you want, from smashing shelves, to scaring customers, to jacking their delivery trucks, destroying their reputation with flyers, or clogging their toilets with paper towels you'll get your protection money one way or another. However, some shopkeepers will fight back, or even more dastardly, some are already protected by someone else. You might be walking into a fight, so be ready. You've also got three protagonists as well, and there's a ton of other information on that. Shakedown Hawaii, it's been a while since we really heard too much about this game, but to be honest, for like one guy, I think V Blank is literally like one dude, one or two people or something like that. This is actually really impressive and it's going to take some time to make sure that he gets this figured out because you have empire building, you have destructible environments, you have a 16-bit open world, you have all sorts of stuff. And like I said, this is a very small team. I literally think this is one guy who's doing all of this. So he has to plan all the different things that you can do in this game. And I know Retro City Rampage, that was actually a pretty big hit on the Nintendo 3DS and other places that it went to. So I'm expecting big things out of this one here. It's coming to a number of systems. So I'm pretty sure it's going to do well with the PS4, Switch, PS Vita, 3DS, and also PC. I think the Nintendo Switch is obviously going to be the ideal platform since you can play it on the TV like a PS4. And you can also play it on the go like a PS Vita or a 3DS. So I think people are going to be really excited about the Nintendo Switch version of the game. And I just might try this out. I like the plot. I like the theme of it, how it's like an aging CEO and all of his businesses are just getting overrun with streaming and things like that. So that's actually really interesting that the plot is kind of set up like that. So I'll probably try this one out when I didn't really play Retro City Rampage just because I didn't really feel like it. But this one seems like a little bit more my style, up to 16 bits, so that's pretty cool too. So what do you guys think about Shakedown Hawaii launching Q1 2019? PlayStation 4, Switch, PS Vita, 3DS, PC via Steam. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. All right, and moving on to the next topic here. Power A is making a sick Diablo 3 Nintendo Switch Bluetooth controller. This is a really nice controller, guys. So let's go ahead and get into this here. So Diablo 3 Eternal Collection is getting a lot of attention. We have a Nintendo Switch bundle that's coming out that comes with the carrying case, the dock, the branded Nintendo Switch on the back. But then we also got a nice Power A controller. So let's go ahead and get into the official overview of this controller. This is officially licensed by Nintendo and it promises quite a bit of extra features. Play your favorite Nintendo Switch games like a pro with this officially licensed Power A enhanced wireless controller designed for comfort during extended gaming sessions. This Bluetooth wireless controller features neutral white design with red accents, motion controls, standard layout, and metallic D-pad. 
enjoy up to 30 hours of gameplay with a new alkaline battery. Other variables will affect the playtime on that one. You have traditional style controller for the Nintendo Switch featuring Diablo 3 key art, Bluetooth wireless freedom, features motion controls and advanced gaming buttons, ergonomic design and standard button layout, LEDs for power, button mapping, player number, and low battery warning includes two AA batteries for up to 30 hours of gameplay, official licensed product with a two-year limited warranty, and you can register that at PowerA.com. Now, GameStop is exclusively selling this controller, and it's due alongside Diablo 3 Eternal Collection for the Nintendo Switch on November 2nd. So this is actually a pretty nice controller here. It doesn't seem like it has HD rumble built in. It has motion controls, but they didn't talk about HD rumble in there it lasts 30 hours so that's about 10 hours less than the regular standard pro controller that you can purchase this controller is considerably cheaper though because pro controllers are $69.99 and some of them are actually $74 if you get the special edition ones whereas this controller is actually $49.99 so if you're willing to take a little bit of a hit on the HD rumble because it doesn't seem like it's going to have that built into there but it still has the gyro controls it's wireless but it also takes AA batteries whereas the Nintendo Switch standard pro controller is rechargeable batteries so it's cheaper for a reason there are some setbacks however I will say the d-pad on this thing does look to be a lot better or seem to be better than the standard Nintendo Switch Pro controller so it does have some nice options on there it looks like a really good controller I know we've had other youtubers actually talk about these controllers and review them and seem like they're pretty good controllers so not bad at all I might go out there and pick this one up I don't like going into GameStop I only go in there when I have to so we'll see if I actually get this one or not but this Diablo 3 controller is nice I do like the design of it I like the red and the black Diablo 3 on the bottom grip and nice centered picture there so it does look like a really cool controller that I'm thinking about picking up so what do you guys think about this power hey enhanced wireless controller for the Nintendo Switch let me know your thoughts in the comment section below all right and moving into the final topic here we got a little bit of Super Smash Brothers ultimate news with a blog update on October 19 2018 and we're talking about the waifu of all waifus or one of the top waifus out there and that is definitely my girl Palutena one of my mains in Super Smash Brothers for Wii U and Nintendo 3DS and yes for those who don't know I main Palutena along with Sheik and Fox. Well, Fox, I kind of drop, but whatever. You guys all know what it's about when it comes to me and Super Smash Brothers if you watch my Smash Brothers content. But I'm really hoping Palutena is good in this game because, well, she was fun to use in Super Smash Brothers for Wii U, which is the reason why I use her because she's super fun. She's not very good in the game competitively. So let's talk about Palutena a little bit and what they had to say. So today's fighter is Palutena. With her wings and staff, the goddess's attacks cover a wide range. With her up smash, neutral special, and side special, she can create a ranged attack in almost every direction except for directly beneath her. Keep the pressure on your opponents from a distance with ranged attacks. So yeah, that's something that Paul Tana is actually really good with. She can play the keep away game because if you have like a zoner against her, so somebody like Samus, for example, shooting missiles and all that, well, she can just reflect everything back at you. And on top of that, she's the only person in the game that can actually move while she uses a reflector or something that can like bounce back a projectile like Mario's cape or even like Fox's reflector or Falco's reflector. Palutena can actually move a little bit. So she actually has the best reflector in the game. That's one of the best ones, better than Mewtwo's, better than any of the other ones on the ground. She has her range attack that she can do with her staff, so that's good. And her up smash has the most range out of anybody in the game, right? When she has her up smash, you can hit so far above them. Her forward smash, her down smash are not very good though. I hope we get buffs of those. There's huge lag on them. They're very powerful and they do reach a bit, but the hitboxes are weird on them. Sometimes they just don't hit or they just blow the person away. So I'm hoping that they fix the hitboxes on Palutena and I'm also hoping that they kind of just make her a little bit more speedy. Her tilts can be good in some situations, but also really laggy and bad in other situations. So I'm just hoping that she gets an overall bit of a speed bump. I know the game is a little bit quicker in terms of the pace, but I would just hope that Palutena can do things a little bit faster and better than she could before, especially with her tilts. Like her up tilt is actually good for trapping people once they get up on a neutral get up on the ledge, but it's really slow. Same with her forward tilt. Forward tilt, multiple hits, 
good for certain situations, but if you mess up, I mean, the punish just can be so bad, and they have a lot of time to do so as well. So that's the problem with Palutena, just really laggy across the board on everything that she has. Her whole kit is laggy. She doesn't have a lot of real quick attacks outside of maybe her down tilt. Her down tilt is actually fairly quick. But that's about it. Her jab. Her jab is fairly quick. And she has a lot of combos that she can do off of grab. So that's good. That's Palutena's game. Is that she can grab you. And she can coddle you. She can kill you with certain things. If you get like a air dodge. She can just up smash you after the down throw. So there's some really good things about Palutena. But there's just some other things that they need to just clear up just a bit. So I'm hoping that she's good in this game. I'm always going to use her for fun and everything. And heck even on For Glory when I was just playing and stuff. I would use her sometimes even when I couldn't get a good win or victory with Sheik, I just like, all right, let me just change it up with Palutena just a little bit. So I do like her and I'm hoping that she's actually really good in the game, but we'll have to wait and see because there's just so many characters in this game. There's different physics. There's just different stuff. So you just don't know how it's going to end up and what they've done completely until you get the game in your hands. So what do you guys think about all the different updates here from Shakedown Hawaii to the Power A Diablo 3 controller and of course the waifu Palutena? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. All right, Ninja, that wraps it up for this video here. Go ahead and check out the links in the description below. We got Facebook and Twitter. Go ahead and give us a like and a follow on our social media. Really helps us spread the content of Flares. It's across the internet and just the YouTube. Also, make sure you check out our Patreon, Twitch, and YouTube live gaming pages and consider supporting Player Essence. When you do so, it gets you access to all sorts of cool benefits, perks, rewards, and emotes via YouTube membership. Hit that like button if you did like this video. Let's me know you guys want more content like this going forward in the future. And subscribe to Player Essence for this RPG, Japanese, and Nintendo gaming news. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you in the for the next video. Peace!